guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to pot up some plants in some jars that I thrifted and build a terrarium. We're also just gonna like do a couple other weird things. It's gonna be kind of more of like a vlog style video. And I do wanna show you first my plant room. I completely cleaned it. I found thrips and red mites on quite a few of my plants. So I literally checked every single plant. I literally wiped down all of my big plant leaves and I, I checked everything okay good news is that the room is super clean and i can't wait to just show it to you real fast bad news and i know that this is gonna hurt a lot of you deep in your soul but we had to get rid of the couch monstera <gasps> wait this is game changer you're on top of my grow light right now which i am making a video about that you either have seen no you haven't seen it yet you will see a video on it in the future but amazing wow wait game changer Okay, before we get into all of today's super fun content, please make sure you hit like and subscribe. Maybe you've been binge watching my videos and you just forgot to hit that subscribe button. Welcome to the community. I also have YouTube memberships, which you can check out at the link in the description. But without further ado, let me show you my plant room. So the first thing you're gonna notice is that it is pretty barren. My red mites had completely infested all of my orchids up here. And there is one orchid that is still okay. He's currently being watered. We see the uh, the plant shelves over here, which also look pretty barren. This guy looks normal. He's my little rainforest, killing it with Eddie. We love Eddie. <laughs> but yeah, my plant shelves are super duper barren. They are just, you know, waiting for more plants. It's summertime. We got we got some room for plants. I moved my entire orchid collection. Well, my Papia petalum collection to this window right here where they're gonna get a lot brighter light than they were getting before. And then we also have my little prop box right here. These guys are just chilling and vibing. Raven's vibing in the little bin. This guy also had thrips. I had to cut off two of his leaves and then also I cleaned the entire plant. So we were just over there. Now we're painting this way. Obviously not much has changed with the Hoya situation, but the couch area does look exceptionally foliage-less, which does make me super duper sad. But I did save the sport. So here's our little sport guy right here. And he's just gonna be growing on his own now separately. And hopefully that'll be a lot better for him. But the entire plant, like I can't even stress to you guys how infested both of those plants were with thrips. Everything looks is looking pretty good. My plants are absolutely loving this grow light, which you will be seeing a video on sometime soon. All right, let me show you my little thrift store pot haul. Also, I do just wanna let you guys know, I am gonna be going out of town here pretty soon for a bit. And I'm gonna be in Seattle filming for Botanicas and doing a bunch of brand stuff for them. While I'm there, you are going to be seeing a slew of house plant shop tours, and then it's going to dramatically switch to probably Seattle content. Okay, so I went thrift shopping for some little jars because I have been absolutely loving keeping my plants in these jars, especially with like my soil plants because you can see the roots and they look really cute and also glass is just way better than plastic. In total, I spent $14.81 with tax on everything I'm about to show you. So number one, I got this cute little pot because I have this adorable little Ripsalis on my desk and he's in this adorable little pot kind of similar to this one. So I wanted to originally go thrift shopping to try to find a cute little vintage pot or cup or something. And I found this one and it's super duper cute. Next, I got this cute little jar. I am going to be going to Portland in about three weeks to help my parents move to Arizona. And I'm going to be visiting some of my plant friends and I am going to be bringing them a couple little propagations in this cup as of just a, you know, thank you to put some moss in here, take some propagations today, put them in here. And then, uh, yeah. Then I got a ton of these just like little jars. This is what I'm gonna be repotting tons of my plants into today. I mean, just like a ton. I think I bought maybe like 20 of these, like so many. They're 49 cents each, so cute little jars. Okay, this thing was five bucks, all right? We are gonna be building a little terrarium in this guy. Here's how big it is, I guess, head for size. And it has a little top, so we can just like put the top on there, keep the humidity in. And I have 
my plants, which are still in my salad bowl. So I thought, hey, how great would it be if we could switch some of this and put it into here so I can have my salad bowl back because I haven't been able to eat salads because this is the only bowl big enough for one. And then we'll put some extra moss in here and then take some more propagations of some other things as well. So repot with me slash make a terrarium with me slash take propagations with me. But seriously, how cool is this? Five bucks for this entire thing. Bring my little table over here. Okay, so we need to select our plants. I think we'll switch out this one. Okay, we'll start with these ones first and then we will slowly move through. All right, so we are here. Basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna like repot things and we're gonna try to use as much of the same soil as possible because there's really no reason to like switch out the soil and everything. We have a friend today, Raven will be just hanging out right there probably this entire time. So this one, as you saw, is for my little uh, desktop Ripsalis companion. So I'm just gonna take this guy and I'm just gonna put him in there. Cute, so we got him in there and now we just gotta even it out, baby. Aw, that looks like just what I dreamed it would look like. This All right, now we have our little look, uh, our little coat line in this cute little cup. And now he can match my little desktop Rixalis, my little desktop succulents. Okie dokie, next. The rest of these are gonna be, I think, a lot easier because we're literally just gonna be like turning it upside down and then like throwing it in a pot. Paper-based stickers, am I right? Oh my God, he's growing! I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna take this guy and this guy. And we're just gonna tuck him in. We gotta shake it to try to get the dirt all the way to the bottom. The cool thing about putting Hoya in glass is that I honestly think it like creates like a greenhouse effect around the roots because the Hoya that I have <laughs> in glass, like their roots turn green. And then also like you can see it really, really well what they're doing and you can make sure you're not over watering them too. And you don't need to put like a little saucer down because he's just fine the way he is. Thank you very much. How are you guys doing? I'm really excited. I've been looking forward to this Botanicus trip for a really long time. Very excited to be completely vaccinated before going. Oh wait, <laughs> I just repotted, oh well. I repotted the wrong one. I guess I got too distracted talking. All right, let's top him off. See Harley again and have not seen her in forever. Seeing Anya and David is always super duper fun. Bunch of fun content we have planned. All right, that was my uh, Hoya EPC 301. He's super sun stressed, living his best life. So cool. My parents are moving to Arizona, which is really super duper sad because I grew up in Oregon my entire life. I was born and raised in Tualatin, in Oregon. My parents are gonna be moving to Arizona. And while it is super duper sad to like have to leave like my friends that still live in Oregon, it opens up an entire new world of nurseries. My parents like to bring me to visit them quite often, which is why you guys get to see so much Portland content all the time. Uh, well, usually when there's no panoramic going on. It'll be cool because we'll get to we'll get to go see some nurseries in Arizona which is awesome I have some friends that live in Arizona as well I'm gonna get to meet for the first time ever my friend cactus update lives in Arizona I'm gonna go film a tour of his heckin cacti and meet that guy for the first time I've been talking about him since I think 2020 still am I have a cactus collection I just like don't ever show it but if you guys want to see my cactus collection I can show you it's not that big right now but um, at the last place I ended up getting really overbearing so did not have enough sun for the amount of cacti that I had cute one at a time baby I think I really like the idea of keeping my plants compartmentalized only having a few you know bigger plants maybe more common plants out in the open all of my like Hoya, or not Hoya, Hoya needs to be on here. Like all of my super special plants, I love the idea of having them in like their own room where I can like manage and regulate pests, humidity, watering, you know, all of that stuff, light in one specific spot. I officially unplugged my humidifiers because I literally just have not been using them. I'm also going to be watering these plants when I'm done, by the way. Uh, and I'm gonna be watering them with Liquider. If you want to try Liquider, you can use code plantme underscore 25. My code has saved Liquider customers who use my code over $2,500, which is just truly incredible. So uh, let's just keep that number going up. Keep saving more and more money. This was sent to me 
by Heather Hoyas. She has a YouTube channel, by the way. You can totally go check her out. Look at this. Plants just look so much better in jars, bro. Hashtag plant jars. Hi, Raven. What do you want? You walking on me? What are we doing? What's in that bag? You can't go in that bag. That bag is dirty. This is what happens in that bag, Raven. Okay, so we actually have to put some soil in this little jar right here. Got a whole lot going on at once here. You got dirt on you. You got dirt on you, Raven. When you tap the jar, I found it kind of like evens out uh, the soil. That is so cute. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Just little plants in little jars. All right, we're back. We got Hoya Macrophylla. I got four jars left, and then we are gonna build a terrarium. Wow, plants just look so much better in jars. I'm just so blown away. Like, that looks so happy and healthy in this jar. It doesn't really need a well-draining soil, I guess, since we're potting in jars, so it's like not gonna drain. But I think that a chunkier mix is just good for roots overall for Hoya. Let's do my obovata. Yeah, I guess we could put, yeah, all of them. Okay, cool, wow, we really got, oh, I sat on a cat. Sorry, Raven. We, we picked four, okay. <laughs> for future reference, if you guys are gonna do this, probably be better for you to use some gloves. I am just getting splinters left and right. It's been nice to kind of like do some more relaxing videos. April has been very experimental for me, I think in the realm of video making because we did a lot of different things. We introduced the new series, House Plant History. You win some, you lose some. Uh, but I am gonna keep making those because I really like to make them. And we did April Fools, which that video did so much better than I thought it was gonna do. So and then we had, uh, I don't know, we, we've done a lot of different videos this month instead of the normal just tours and stuff. Wow, honestly, I just, I know I've said it a thousand times, but Plants and jars, let's make it a thing. Crinkle eight and let's do, let's try to do obovata. All right, so we got the first one in there. Now we're gonna stick uh, this one. And then we have one that my, one of my members sent me. <laughs> this is such a full little jar. Nice in there and just top it off with some soil. Obovatas are so weird because of the way that they like sit. Check those out. Every single one potted up together. That's so cool. Cute, in a jar. So I wanted to show you guys how much space I was just able to clear up and save. Literally this entire space, like there would have been plants there and there's not now because these jars take up way less space and then you don't need these little dividers. So here's uh, all my little Hoya that I have in, have in some jars. A lot of them, huh? I think it looks so nice. And then these ones aren't quite big enough for anything yet, so they're just around there. And then this one's in a six inch. Anyways, yeah, I literally just saved a ton of space. So, you know, space for more plants at some point. So we are gonna water everything with liquid art in just a few minutes, but first what I wanna do is I wanna build this terrarium guy. We're not doing too much like building out of it. Essentially, the reason I bought it was to transfer all of this into here, right? My Hoya pubicalyx uh, that someone sent me are throwing hands right now, which is so exciting. Hoya linearis is propping successfully. More Hoya obovata splash. Big old pile of, pile of propagations. So now I'm gonna take the moss, I'll plop it in there, baby. And I think we're gonna need to make a little bit more moss, so I'm gonna do that real fast. Cool, now we got a ton of extra moss in here. I'm gonna go put some water in this and I'll be right back. We got our little moss bowl, little moss terrarium, and now we are gonna put the cuttings in our little bowl. I'm gonna be careful not to break the roots. We're gonna go the smallest ones first. The other thing is that this looks way cooler <laughs> than the bowl that I had them in before, so. What I'm doing is I'm kind of like arranging them in a circle. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see too well, but I'm like circling from the outside and then like working my way in. Little Hoya linearis. And these, actually, let me show you, it's rooting so well. Wow. And the linearis like really just only needs to kind of rest on top. 
Got this little Syngonium Alpota phylum, and we're gonna put him dead in the middle. Oh, this is cute. This is a good idea. Wow. You guys, this thing was only five bucks. <laughs> Whatever this is, I have genuinely no idea what this is, but he's doing some things. And then we have my two uh, Splashy Hoi Pipicalyx. This is the one that was sent to me by Miranda, and look at that new leaf. That's so exciting. And then the only thing we have left is this Carnosa, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if he's gonna fit, but we'll try. We'll just kind of stick him right there and hope he does well. Here is our big, uh, big probable that we have going on. Kind of see. Everything we got. We got a ton going on. Big old bowl Ahoya. That's kind of fun. Cool, yeah, that's our big old guy. That's pretty cool, huh? Five bucks, go thrifting. <laughs> big old, big old jar guy right there. Okay, so now the last thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna make, we're gonna make a little bit more moss and then I'm going to put it in here. Okay, so I'm going to be making a cute little begonia box to give to my friends at the Potted Elephant. Basically, begonias are really cool because you can propagate them from any plant material that you have. You could take just a stem, you could take like multiple parts of a leaf. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking some leaf uh, and stem propagation, putting them in this, in, in this little jar, and then in the next three weeks, when I finally get to go back to Portland, I am going to give it to them as a little present. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually take a couple different types of propagations and We'll monitor this because I've never done like a leaf begonia prop video before. I'm pretty sure you literally just like cut it and then stick it in the moss. That's what I've seen people do. So that and we literally just put it, I think, cut down into the into the thing. And then I'm also going to do a begonia jilau type two cutting. This is one of my favorite begonias in the world, and so I want to share it with them. Here's the uh, little cutting that I took. And I'm gonna split it up into two cuttings. The begonia is extremely, extremely, extremely delicate, so we're just gonna be very careful with how we place it. I have heard that uh, begonia propagations that don't have stem take much, much, much longer. We're gonna do a couple different versions. Okay, perfect. We got our Milan Oblata and our Jalau type two. Uh, I have this ugly Jalau leaf right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off the ugly part. It's gonna give us this. Begonias are just truly incredible because you can just get anything from them. We're gonna cut off the dead part. Like the fact that you can regrow an entire plant from a heckin' piece of a leaf is just incredible. If you guys ever have like dying begonia leaves, never throw them away. Just throw them in some moss. I did tell them that I would be bringing them something. Uh, I just didn't tell them what. Let's hope that they don't like watch my videos all the time so that we can surprise them. Cause I'm like trying to not crush the begonia pieces, but also like I need to embed them in there. Juhoei, and I'm gonna give them Juhoei with stem because my Juhoei is just literally massive. It's one of the most beautiful begonias I think ever. And look, we're getting some mature leaves now, which is so, so, so exciting. I'm gonna stick this guy in. And then also I'm gonna give them one Begonia Raja leaf. And this one's already rooting, so. Yeah, Begonia Raja is a really difficult begonia to find. It's usually pretty darn expensive. I was able to secure the bag uh, by doing a trade. So we got our little begonia, our little begonia propagation thing. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see how it goes. I'm gonna seal it up, let it be humid in there. We are gonna put some liquid in it, but I'm just showing you. So now it's gonna just sit like this and propagate. And then uh, I'll, I'll keep tabs with you before we end up going to Oregon and let you guys know how it's doing. Now what we're gonna do is make our fertilizer. I fertilize with liquider, as you guys know. I never shut up about them. A teeny tiny little bit in my cap here. Great thing is that liquider is uh, non-toxic and pet friendly safe. So you don't need to be terrified. Now we can watch, watch the magic of it. Uh, 
making itself. How you're supposed to make liquid art is you're supposed to take a cup of water and put it in the pouch and then you take a cap full of the pouch and you put it in one gallon of water and that's how you get your mix. If you want to make the most of your liquid art, definitely don't do it how I do it. <laughs> liquid art is great. All of my friends use it. I use it. It's amazing. You can use whatever creator's code you want, but if you use code Plant Me Ashley, you will be using a code that has saved people $2,500, which is pretty, pretty cool. All right, now we're ready to fertilize. Okay, so now that I've made my mix, I'm going to be fertilizing my plants. We'll go left to right so that you guys can see what I'm doing. So essentially, I'm going to be watering almost all of my house plants that I have actually over in this little table because I haven't done it in a little bit. And what we're doing is we're just going to heck and water everybody. Here, watch this. Ready? Watch the soil. You see that? You can totally see where the soil, where the water's been and where it hasn't. Pretty cool. Gonna put some in the terrarium. Perfect. And we still haven't had to refill the uh, little guy yet. Well, that's pretty cool. My one thing watered every single plant. Well, you guys, thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for relaxing with me while we take care of my plants, while we repot some of my plants, and while we just chat, hang out, vibe, relax. I am going to be editing this video now for you to see right now, the one that you're watching this video. Please make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and tweet me at Plant Me Ashley. Follow me on Instagram at Plant Me Ashley. I make a bunch of fun Instagram plant content, including reels, and they're pretty funny, so go watch them. I also have YouTube memberships, which you can check out at the link in the description, and I have merch. It's really cute. All my friends love it. I love it. Go check it out. Also, if you want to support this channel extra, you can purchase liquid art with code plantme underscore 25. It will save you 25% off your entire order, bro. Your entire order. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next houseplant section. Goodbye. Thank you so much for the extra channel support to Botanica's Crazy Chick Vintage, The Planted Carly Flower, Terra Wolf Gang, and all the green places.